everybody, this is Shannon. Thanks so much for joining us for our super fun game with fraction tiles. We're gonna play um, a couple different versions that you can access on our YouTube channel. Um, we're going to play the game Cover, and then we'll play two other versions, which is um, Uncover version one and Uncover version two. When you're doing um, fraction tiles, you can um, want to organize your fraction tile sets. You can go to our YouTube channel or SIS for Teachers to do a tutorial video on how you would set up your fraction tiles to be student ready so that when students go to the mass salad bar, their tiles are ready to go for them. This is a five by seven photo box. It's labeled H for my set because it goes with the H. My partner has her own set of fraction tiles. Hers are the group E, so if any of these drop, we know that it goes back into her section. For this game, I decided to take a customized um, cube and make it into different fractions. And so we're gonna be using the fractions of one half. We'll also be using the fraction of one eighth, and then we'll be using one twelfth, and then of course over here we have one fourth. So we've already set up ours by grabbing out of our container the proper fractions that we'll be using. You can also change this and change a dice. I prefer to use a cube either by putting a label on it or you even could take a Sharpie marker and kind of write the fractions that you're wanting to. A lot of times um, these could kind of be reusable or you could switch them out. I find making your own fraction cube is a lot easier than trying to buy pre-made fractions um, dice as they oftentimes don't are not in the denominations of what I'm looking for. The object of this game is for my partner or I to cover our whole completely. The first person to cover is going to win. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll and I'm going to add one fourth. My partner is going to roll and they're going to add one twelfth. The idea is that you want to get the fraction totally full at the top. Um, you could decide to um, pass if you don't want to put the fraction on it. In this game, you can't do an equivalent, meaning if I were to have the one fourth, I couldn't put another fraction that was equivalent to that fraction, um, such as, you know, in this case, I might be able to put on two ace. You only can do what's actually rolled. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll 12. Some kids you might be worried about, they might wait and just roll the 12, you know, wait for a half and a half to go. But as they continue, they'll be adding um, pieces on. My hope is that I get my fraction piece covered before my partner. Now you have to be able to cover yours completely. So we see how she has half. You know, what is going to fit in here? Students sometimes with fraction tiles, you know, will kind of guess and check. I mean, if she rolls a 12th in this case, unfortunately, she's going to lose her turn. If she rolls a fourth, she'll lose her turn. If she rolls a half, she's gonna lose her turn. She's really hoping for that perfect piece that's gonna total her whole, which is going to be 1 eighth. Okay, she's gonna go ahead and roll and ends up winning with the 1 eighth. This has to be completely full to cover it. Again, if you are not able to go, you end up missing your turn. This is a very simplistic way of playing the game using very specific um, parts. This is a great for our third grade students as they're starting to learn about different fractions. Um, we'll show some other versions of playing this game without having the actual stamp version where you could use more of area model papers so it could kind of be used with different fractional parts. We hope that you check out the other versions of how to play um, Uncover Cover with our Uncover version one and Uncover version two, and check out our YouTube channel as well as our website at sis4teachers.org.